Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about cigar box guitars. This is a three string cigar box guitar with diatonic frets. Diatonic means in one tone or one key and you may notice the gaps between the frets are larger than on say a mandolin, banjo or ukulele. So you'll need one of these tuned to G, D, G to play along with this video. G, the low G the string nearest your chin, D, the middle string, and G, the string nearest the floor. Some people tend to think because this is tuned to G, and people use the phrase tuned to G, that you can only play in the key of G. It may sound better in the key of G, and it really does, but you can play in other keys. Our previous video played in the key of A, this one is going to play in the key of D and you know most of the chords already. So without further ado, let's get started. To play in the key of D you need to know three chords and you actually know them all already if you've watched my previous videos. So let's get started. D chord. That is the first fret of the low and high G. That's your D chord. Your G chord can either be open like that, but I tend to use my ring finger on the second fret of the high G. So that's D, G, D, G, D. G and you need one more chord to play in the key of D and that is A. The A chord is the first fret on all strings like that. That is your A chord. So we'll have a quick strum through D, four strums. G A back to D again D four strums G A Then back to D. Now you know the chords, let's have a run through of the 12 bar blues in the key of D. For each letter we are strumming 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. I'll print the letters in the description down below. So D, 4 bars of D. That's the first. That's the second. That's the third. That's the fourth. G. Back to D. One bar of A, one bar of G, two bars of D. And to finish it off correctly, we do an A chord, then a D chord. We'll have a run through that again. Four bars of D. First, second, third, fourth, G, back to D, it's 
If you've watched all my videos, you should now be able to play the 12 bar blues in three keys on a cigar box guitar that's diatonically tuned. But in the key of D, we can do a little bit more with it than we can in other keys. So let's get started. We are doing a D chord. Okay, we'll cover what that is now. This hand, my strumming hand, is simply strumming. Up and down. To a count of one and two and three and four and. On the numbers we're going down, on the ands we're coming up. So we strum in one bar, one and two and. We slide that hand up, one fret for three and then back for four and. If you do the first four bars, adds a bit more to it. With the G chord we can do the same. I'm tucking my fingers out the way so you can see what I'm doing clearly. So we do one and two and three and four and. So for that we're playing the G chord with that finger. So it'd be one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Then back to D. So we did the first eight bars of the 12 bar blues, it'd be like this. Some of you may have noticed I did it differently then. Basically on this G chord, you can lift your finger off and on whenever you feel like it. Like moving this D chord up and down, you can move it however, which way you choose and when you choose. So a D chord could be, you know, one and two and three and four and or one and two and three and four and or one and two and three and four and that way I just do it on the upstrokes it's up to you all you must do is sort of stay on the D the real D for the majority of the time 